Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Blackview A95 device. This is a brand new device that was just um, sent to me and I thought to review it in this video. As you can see right here, I have done the little bit of um, unmasking of this pack myself because I did um, think I was recording, but I wasn't recording when I did it, but that's fine. I'll just go through the whole review again and just tell you exactly what you need to know about this device before you um, go buy it wherever you find it if you want eventually. All right, so let's begin with talking about this phone, guys. For those who are specification crazy, let's talk about the major um, device, the major features of this device, sorry. Um, so it comes with the Android um, 11 OS. It's got a 6.528 um, inch screen here. As you can see, it's got um, eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of memory capacity. It does have a battery life of 4380 milliampere hours and it does have a front camera of 8 megapixels and the back camera of 20 megapixels as you can see right here and these are the main sort of um, buying features of this phone because most smart smartphone users do go for they do look at all these um the, uh, all these features but in this review i take you in depth i take you more than this um this um these features to tell you exactly what this phone has come with so guys we go into um taking off the phone guys you can open the phone this way from the bottom this way out okay so once the, once that's done you're going to find all it has inside of it the first thing you find guys is you find an envelope looking like this, which does have the manual inside of it, and the outside it has a pin, a pin, um, a pin sort of um, um, a pin looking equipment, right? Yes, it looks like a pin, and then uh, what is used for it, I'm going to show you in a second. Um, so you go in this way, and you will find the phone manual looking at you face to face. There you go. This is the phone manual. As you guys know, I love this these this so much, but I don't use it. <laughs> okay. But as a phone user, I'd advise you to use this uh, when you can. Read about it. Read about the phone, so you know exactly what the phone has, what it doesn't, what to expect of the phone. You know exactly by reading this manual. So, guys, if you've read the manual, you're happy with it. Let's put it out, down, and out. Okay, and then go to bigger and better things. As you can see right here, the phone has also got um, a charger. There's a cable for the charger, and this is the charging, the charging head, I guess. The plug, <laughs> the plug, the head, the plug, anything, the plug. It's a two-pin plug here because it's a Canadian style of plug, but as you can see right here, the USB um, part goes in here and the plug goes into um, the phone. Okay, so that's what you find here. It's a very nice looking cable and charger, so I think it's okay. Um, nothing bad about it, in my opinion. It's light as well. The lighter, the better, if you ask me. Okay, right, and next you find the phone. The phone actually was covered by this, which I took off the phone, um, which is okay. Um, just for you to know that it's a brand new phone here. I've turned the phone on already, and so you can see right here, the phone looks just like this. And by the way, for those who count the time it takes for the phone to start up, it took about 19 seconds for the phone to start up, which was a long time for me, in my opinion, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so most phones respond to the tap here to turn the backlight on, but this phone doesn't respond to the tap. There you go. No response. Oh, it does respond to the tap. There you go. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought it responded just now. Okay, so guys, to turn this phone on, I mean the backlight on, you need to hold this button down and turn it on. And the phone, um, and to turn the phone off as well, hold this button right here, and you see the phone turns off. It tells you emergency turn off restart. So we're gonna be doing none of them. Okay, so going through the phone, guys, swipe up this one, you can see your apps, some of your apps here, and then back again, you can see more apps. It's a good thing that this phone comes with some games for me to play, which is fantastic. And the interface looks fairly good. It gives me the Samsung vibe, to be honest. Um, although it makes me wonder what Blackview is doing. Are they copying Samsung? I didn't say that. I just said that it gives me the Samsung vibe. It's different, okay? So um, going into the phone, you can see that it has um, YouTube, YouTube Music. It's got the PS Office. It's 
WPS office. It's got um, games, like I said, it's got um, Gmail and all this. And I have actually connected the phone to my Wi-Fi service. Yay, it's connected. Now we are happy to go on the internet with this device. So you can see here, the Chrome is happy to go browsing. It's got a Chrome, Chrome here, I'm gonna say no thanks. And we'll be into Chrome. The first page opens is Black View page. Good marketing for them. Good marketing, Black View. Okay. So looking into the app sketch, you can see here it's got the child mode here, which is what most or oh, every Black View phone has. It has also the camera, which I like to go through and say, let's have a look at it because it says here the front camera is about and 20 megapixels and the rear facing camera. Sorry, the front camera is about. 8 megapixels and the rear facing camera is about 20 megapixels but we need to know if that's the case here so let's look at this guys ah this is my pretty my pretty hand as you can see my palm looking all fresh and nice yay so guys this this camera isn't giving me what i expected guys i'm sorry but i feel like black view can do better so this is black views 20 megapixel, I would say black view, we need something better than this guys. I'm disappointed in this camera, it's just there, it's nothing fantastic. It gives me a few settings here to adjust for the beauty of the of what's being captured, but I see that the beauty is just making it lighter and softer, but it's not still there, it's not still there. So I would say black view, you have a long way to go regarding the camera. But I understand, I get the point. This is not what exactly was marketed as, you know, supreme with this device. So I would say, I understand if the device doesn't really meet this, uh, this uh, sort of a mark, you know, as, uh, as per picture quality. So let's go on guys, looking at the front facing camera, I, I would say the same thing to expect. You can see right here, there you go. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you get with the camera. and. Okay, I would say just okay with the camera, nothing fantastic. And then generally speaking, I would say uh, with this phone, you have to be very cautious. It feels very light. And so it can actually break easily if it fell down or, I mean, I mean, if you let it fall, it could break. And also there is no protection behind here. The manufacturers have not advertised the phone as a rugged phone. So I would say be careful when you use this phone because it could actually fall if you're working on the site. I wouldn't say this is a phone for you. So uh, just beware. Now guys, looking in here, you can see that it has, it's got some games. And let's see how the games really feel here. It says real football. Let's go to car racing, my favorite. Car racing. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see what this is all about. Right. Okay. Okay. As you can see. Let's go here. Car playing turning. Uh, I would say let's play. I'll choose this car. And... It says buy. I don't want to buy any car. I want a free car. Where are the free cars here, guys? This is for free. Okay, tune in the car. Uh, I don't know what to do here, guys. What should I do? Okay. But guys, you get you get the logic, guys. This phone does have games, and the games really work. Oh my god, this is exposing my 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 game my my video game illiteracy or ignorance, whatever. Oh my god. Right, guys. What should I do next? I have no idea. I'm sorry, inventory, no. Car boxes, get boxes, no. All right, guys, you get the gist. This phone has got games and the games look good to play. And the phone, the, the screens are, are also wide, which makes for a very good gameplay and um, display, sorry. So I, I would say, generally speaking, you would, this phone will actually meet your need for a mild phone game player. I would say this phone is gonna be good enough for you. And, um. The only thing I feel like is a setback is the RAM, which is for 8 megapixels, sorry, the RAM for 8 gigs, 8 gigs of RAM, which is which it has, which is fair, but most phones have more, I would say. So I would say be careful how you use the phone, because I believe that with some games, it could slow down really fast. And one very um, funny thing about this phone is when you scroll this way and you, ho you, you hold the button here, the left button here with the three lines, if you touch it, you see that it tells you here 5.1 gigs are free of 8 gigs because I've opened some pages already. The camera is on, 
the game is on. So as you close more devices, so as you close more apps, it frees up it frees up more RAM space, as you can see right here, which is a good thing to tell you what's running, what's not running, what's really consuming your RAM. Um, to tell you that this game alone consumes about um, 2.5 gigs of RAM, which is surprising, which is why I told you you need more RAM space to be able to enjoy a phone um, in general, a phone like this. So, I mean, it's Black Fuse's choice to make 8 gigs of RAM. I get the point, but I would say if you want more RAM space, this phone is not for you. Simple, simple and clear. Okay, so this is the re the review of the Blackview A95 phone. And as you can see here, um, it's just a basic phone, guys, but I like the interface. It gives the Samsung vibe it's sleek. It's not like, you know, writing on, writing on a chalkboard like um, some other Blackview um, lower models. So I would say it's an improvement overall, but I would say it's still not enough. As per camera quality, which is what everybody looks out for today. So guys, it's not about just saying that my phone has got 20 megapixels, 1000 megapixels. What is the quality of the phone or the phone camera? You see, that is another level. That's another step. So I would say megapixel or pixelation, whatever it's called, is um, it comes down to what is the phone, you know, involved. So there are a little bit, there's more to the camera quality than the, than the, the number of megapixels. Uh, I can tell you that because I can see that the 20 here is not 20 in Samsung, which means a lot, you know, it means a lot. So guys, I would say you guys, this is a fairly good phone to use. Um, for those who are wondering what the cost of the phone is, the phone currently goes for um, $259 Canadian, uh, which I'll say that it's okay a price to pay for this quality if you ask me, because I see that most phones of um, higher qualities or of higher quality rather are more expensive. So, which I'll say is a good deal um, in my opinion for Blackview, $259. So guys, go and get your phone if you want to. I'll put a link in the description, hopefully, so you can get the phone if you desire, desire to eventually. But yes, yeah, so this is has this has been the review of, of the um, Blackview A95. I hope it was fun for you guys. Drop your comments in the comment section for more questions uh, that I need to answer regarding this device. Um, I've made the review very short and simple. So guys, I'm going and tell me what you feel or what you think about the phone and so we can go from there. Don't forget to like the video, comment, share the video to your family and friends and subscribe to the channel, guys. All right, guys, it's a wrap and have a wonderful life and bye.